Hey everybody, what's up? Kalex here again, and welcome to episode 3 of the forum. And today we're going to be talking about chapter 3, of course, for Ruby, which is called It's a Brawl in the Family, which was a rather exhilarating uh, chapter because we were introduced to two, actually I'll just say one new character because um, in chapter 2, we did get a couple snippets of Crow, but 3 is really where Crow and now newly shown Winter uh, really get their spotlight. And I honestly think this episode, or this chapter, is really, really great because um, I think in terms of like personality builds and how they are in terms of appearance, um, I think this was great. So anyway, Let's start at the very beginning of the chapter. So at the beginning of this chapter, um, this is like right after the part where I mentioned to you guys where Wife was kind of nervous and kind of glad that we couldn't really tell. But then, um, it shows Wife and Ruby running towards the port or the flight deck in which um, the ship is arriving. And that ship is the one that held winter. And then Ruby was asking Weiss, it was like, wait, who's that? And then Weiss was like, almost in like a very like formative or formal and also appreciative manner. She's like, that's winter. And then Ruby is kind of surprised because it's like, your sister? Like, because she's surprised that Weiss even has siblings. Actually, I kind of think that winter was mentioned before, but I forgot when exactly. Anyway, now let's talk about, um, kind of like the conversation between the three. Uh, the first thing that people probably thought, I even thought this, is that, um, Winter acts very protective over Weiss, and I think that's actually really cool. It's kind of like Yang over Ruby. They act very protective over each other. Except, um, I think it's kind of funny, is that most people see, like, the way that, um, like, Kind of like the authoritative manner that Winter acts or has. It kind of was like, is that Weiss's older sister or is that Weiss's mom? It's kind of funny, but anyway, um, the the thing that I got from Winter is that she's really formal. She really cares about etiquette and manners. And cares about the way that Weiss has been. And like, I don't know if you guys remember that little short part into the conversation. It's like. I didn't, uh, Winter was like, I didn't ask about how high you were ranked in the school, I was asking about, have you met any friends, how are you doing, this, this, and that, and I actually think that's kind of cool because it lets us know that Winter actually really cares for Weiss, so, and these, um, like, the relationship between the siblings I actually find quite significant, so, yeah, I think that was really cool. Um, I honestly really, really love Winter as a character, as I talk about this more. Um, her appearance, she's absolutely gorgeous by, by any means. I love the way that her hair is, like, there's part of her hair, I think it's the left side of her hair. It goes over her eyes slightly, her outfit's remarkable too. And then, um, yeah, so that's, like, a lot of the stuff that I love about Winter, personally. And moving on, um, Weiss? Um, has, or wants to go show Winter her quarters, which is basically the dorm area, or the bedroom area. And then as they're walking there, um, you know, there's like some Athlesian, um, like, guards, like, the, the droids or the robots that are following them. And then Crow totally dismembers one, and rips off its head, throws it on the ground, and he points straight at Winter. And then right off the bat you get the feeling, oh, there's some huge rivalry between these two. And now we're going to get towards the fight. And also I'll talk about Crow too. So the thing that's really interesting about Crow is that Crow is sort of like that good chaotic character within the narrative. It's like, you know, he acts sort of like, oh, don't tell me what to do, that sort of manner. But then it's actually kind of good that he's like that because that's kind of like what builds his philosophy and perspective of the world that he's in. And like, I kind of had a feeling that there'd be some sort of rebe rebellious character eventually within, um, like, Remnant, 
within the world of Remnant. So that's one for you. I mean, I'm not gonna count like Mercury or Emerald or Cinder as any of them because we know they're villains for sure, and of course they're gonna repel. So yeah, seeing so that there's some sort of like good chaotic or almost neutral chaotic character like Crow, it's really interesting. I'd also call. Um, I think Winter would also be a good chaotic in some ways too. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, for the fight, it was really, really intense. At the beginning, it just started off with them fighting with their weapon in their first form. You know, it's not kind of like... It doesn't show like the transformations or anything. So, at the beginning, um, Winter just has like a basic rapier. And then Crow has like a big sword. And, you know, Crow's the one who taught Ruby how to use it. Um, a gun scythe. So, you know, we already get the feeling that it's supposed to be like a real scythe in some way, but then um, as we move on, you know, fight gets more intense, and then Winter starts using her glyphs. Obviously, that shows a relation between Winter and Weiss because they both use glyphs or of the same family, so it's a. Uh, you can see the similarities. Of course, they're sisters, they have the same powers in a sense. So, yeah, I actually think. Winter's saying like um like in terms of like the volume of power that she used, it was pretty remarkable because she summoned like part way into the battle she summoned like some birds and the birds were kind of annoying crow. Like they look like they're made of ice, well of course, because she's winter ice, winter cold makes sense. And as for Crow's weapon, um he has like I think it's really remarkable about his is that if you look at the center of the weapon, there are like these gears or cogs and they turn and it's like a, a mechanism and once the mechanism gets enough energy, it actually unlocks the second form of the weapon. And like if he turns the gears a certain way, it allowed him to use his, it looks like a shotgun in the part where um, Winter was running around, part of the courtyard, it was kind of like arches and then yeah she was running on it and then what we got to see for winter's weapon was that uh, there's actually a smaller scythe i mean not a scythe whoops a smaller uh rapier in there it's like a little shorter and thinner and it was literally inside of it and then she was dual wielding she had a really cool stance um when she had both and there was like a big glyph behind her so yeah the fight was very, very exhilarating to watch. I really enjoyed that. I've watched this chapter, I think, maybe three or four times. Yeah. Now let's talk about, like, the little discussion after. So, um, Ironwood, Osmond, and Glinda call over Winter and Crow, of course, because they destroyed part of the camp's ground. Not supposed to do something like that. And then, um, Crow and Winter have some really interesting chemistry. It's like, you weren't invited uh, to Crow, and then Crow's like, who invited her? Referring to Winter. It's like, why are you even here? And that rebellious side of Crow, you know, showing the fact that he says he's a huntsman, but he doesn't work for Ironwood, it really does show something. Like, it's very interesting. Even I don't really know how to like, define what he is. And Winter's part of the at least in military, so, I mean, that gives a lot because it's part of the security of the uh, security of the world of Remnant. So we kind of know where she is. Apparently, she's supposed to be a specialist. That's what Crow mentioned before the fight started. And a specialist, I don't know where that is in terms of like a hierarchy or ranking, but hmm, must be reasonably high if Ironwood has pretty good respect for her. So that's that. There was a really funny scene in the post-fight discussion where, like, um, Winter is angry. It's like, he always acts like he's drunk. And then Glinda's like, he's always drunk. And then, like, because Crow has, like, a, a flask. You know, he put alcohol in it. And right as I was saying that, he was, like, attempting to drink from it. And then, um, Oz is just like, what are you doing, Crow? Please stop it. Yeah, so I thought that scene was really priceless. And then... That was about it, yeah. It just brings up the 
whole thing about Winter and Crow, their relationship, who they are, brings up a ton of questions in my mind. That's what I really love about these two characters. I'm not gonna lie, they're like really high in my favorite time. Like they're way up there now. And um, since that's clearly the part, or the end of this part, uh, now let's just talk about the cliffhanger at the end. Um, right after the post-fight discussion, it shows Cinder talking to Mercury and Emerald about their plan, their evil plan, and like it's really, really shady because I feel like, as I mentioned before, I feel like something really bad's gonna happen to them. I'm not liking it, so yeah. And um, Cinder gets access to the um, the the tournament. Um, what's it called? The bracket. And then she's arranging the next match. Apparently she got a hold of it somehow. And then um, she arranges the next match, which is going to be Emerald in Mercury versus Yatsuhashi and Coco. So um, she purposely arranges it that way. And then I'm probably pretty sure in the next chapter we're going to see what happens. I feel like something bad might happen. It's not good. That's what most cliffhangers do. You start to question how good it's going to turn out to be, and yeah. So I think that's about it. Yeah, I just seriously cannot get enough of Winter. And having that love for Winter actually makes me like Weiss a lot more too. So, yeah. Really, really great chapter, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And anyway, thanks for joining me in episode 3 of the form for chapter 3 of Ruby. And as always, stay honest, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, Winter sure has a really great personality in my opinion. So is Crow. I mean, it's so sophisticated the way that they were built. I just think it's really interesting. So, yeah, I honestly cannot wait for more. It's really starting to be really, really good this season, or volume. Can't wait to buy the Blu ray of it. So, I'm so doing so, pre ordering it. Can't wait for more.